Hey everyone, it's Dylan, and I'm up here in the pour room right now with Spencer. We are getting ready to do the big 15 foot pour for the, the countertop that we told you guys about in the previous video. Uh, so this is actually going to be a waterfall countertop, which means that um, we're going to have a 45 degree miter on one side and it's going to look like the countertop basically wraps down to the floor. So this red line is about where we're going to do the cut. Uh, but this also has river rocks in it, so what we have to do here is we're going to pour our first half inch thick layer. We'll let that harden up and then we're going to put the rocks in and pour the rest. We've just measured up this piece here and it's about 180 and a half inches long. Uh, it's an average of about 10 and a half inches wide and we only want to pour a half inch thick layer right now. So we get 947 cubic inches. You divide that number by 61. That's going to give you how many liters, so we need 15 and a half liters there, so one bucket. That's, that's like perfect actually. Yeah. Awesome. This is our uh, measuring stick that's kind of neat. So we have three marks on here, and so we fill the resin up to that second mark, and then fill the hardener up to the third mark, and that is the perfect ratio that we need. in this bucket uh, and then we noticed there was the bucket was a little dirty so it's not an issue because what we did is we actually zip tied a screen across the top and then poured the resin through this into a new bucket so now all of those little chunks of stuff that were in there are stuck on the screen and we've got clean resin inside layer poured on that countertop we actually have to go get the rocks uh, we're doing two different kinds of rocks in this countertop uh, there's one a little bit fancier kind that we've ordered from Jasper so that's kind of like this little mountain town here in Alberta and they have these really nice polished rocks so those are going to be showing up like Monday or Tuesday of next week but today we're going to go to Burnco and we're just going to pick up like some unpolished regular river rocks so those are going to be the majority of the rocks in there and then we'll just have a few of those fancy ones found our rocks here, what we're going to use, we're using some of the, the 40 millimeter Alberta rainbow rock, whatever that means, and the 20 millimeter washed rainbow rock. Um, pretty sure the rainbows just means there's more variation in color. Um, these ones are a little smaller and what we're probably going to be looking for mostly is flat rocks like this so that we're not going to be having them stick up too high uh, in the table and we risk hitting them on the CNC. Um, over here, like what we wouldn't want to pick, probably something like this that's thick isn't going to work for us, whereas something nice and thin like that, that'll probably work well. So we'll, we'll pick these out and then we'll head on back to the shop. Well, we're back to the shop now. We got our, our buckets of rocks. So we have uh, two buckets of the larger stones. 
Uh, there should be some nice flat ones in there, and then we've got one bucket of all these smaller stones as well. Um, we still have to let the resin cure up a bit more before we can place these on, and they all have to get washed off as well. So in next week's video, you'll see us place these in and do that for. I've got something uh, kind of exciting for us to tell you guys about. So. We did this color sample here today, this metallic red resin. It's actually going to be the first red table we've ever done, and this is for the Nelk Boys. Uh, we're doing the red color to match their full Sen brand. Um, it's for the new house that they have down in California, and we're going to be building this really crazy cast burl table. It's actually going to be sort of like a conference table because they're going to use it for their editing. And then when we're complete, we're probably going to go down to California, deliver it, vlog that whole thing. Uh, but this is just the beginning of it. Probably next week you guys will see us picking the slabs for their project. Now, there's something else that we need to address that has been commented actually quite a few times. Uh, you guys have been asking what happened to Joe. Um, well, you know, unfortunately with Joe, he's back. I'm back! <laughs> I ended up uh, breaking my leg. They didn't do anything to me, uh, <laughs> yeah. unlike some of you may think. Um, we cast him actually in resin. I did, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gone. I'm all good now. I'm back to work. Yeah. Ready to Where you, make some tables. You're biking? I'm, yeah, I was biking. Yeah, and he, he actually had to have surgery. Yeah. It was pretty major. Yeah, I had two screws in my ankle. Oh, and uh, yeah, I got a nice little scar here now Yeah. from the removal. and. Yeah. But yeah, I broke my leg in three places, <laughs> it wasn't great, <laughs> and I'm back. Yeah. I'm all healed up now. Yeah, and today's actually also my birthday, so Joe's kind of like my birthday present yeah. today. Joe's coming back. I'm pretty special. <laughs> yeah, he's very, very special. But no, we're very happy to have Joe back. It's been like, what, four months? Three or four? Almost five. Almost five months? Yeah. You were probably going a little crazy. Yeah. Not being able to work. <laughs> but we got lots going on. Um, I don't need... Did we tell you about the new exciting thing we're purchasing yet? No. Yeah. Okay, well we haven't told the YouTube guys after, so I'm gonna tell Joe, you guys are gonna have to wait to find out. <laughs> now, for the DIYers who watch our channel, this is something you guys are probably gonna like. We just got in uh, a whole bunch of new charcuterie stocks, so we have some of these rounds that are live edge all the way around. Uh, these are ash. I'll put the ash one back. We also have some walnut. So there's a walnut one. So these are all basically, they're sanded on the edges, they're sanded for thickness. Uh, you just have to do a bit more final sanding and, and then apply your oil. Um, cherry boards with just double live edge, walnut, and then maple. So all of this is available on our website as well and in store. So if you don't live in Calgary, uh, we'll put a link in the description and you guys can order as many of these boards as you want. I think most of you know this, but we also actually sell our own resin. So we get a lot of questions on how we're able to pull off these thick pores uh, with very few bubbles. So that's because we actually had all of these products custom formulated uh, for us by, cust uh, by some chemists in Europe. So the one that we're using in our tables mostly is the deep resin right here. Um, you can pour two inches thick with this product with no cooling and then if you guys use the same kind of cooling techniques that you see us do in our videos, uh, you can do very thick pours. Like personally we went all the way up to six inches thick in a single pour. So we'll also put a link for this stuff down in the description below and you guys can check it out. Now we got our rocks, we've got them in here now. So this, this is the bucket that hasn't been washed and this is the bucket that has been washed. So you can see there's a big difference. Um, there's, some, there's some really nice stones in here actually. Let me see if I can find. Yeah, like look at that. Like not too bad for just the landscaping company. So we'll pick out all the nice ones, we'll get these all washed and then we'll place these in on Monday. So what I've been doing is just dumping them in. It's gonna be loud. Dumping them in, turning this on, and then I basically just squish them all around with my hands until they're completely clean. The end of the week now, uh, it's been two days since we did the pour for this big 15 foot countertop here. Uh, the epoxy is still pretty soft. I checked it this morning and you can like still stick your finger in all the way down to the bottom. So we're going to let this harden up completely until Monday. Uh, once it's hard, we're going to sand the whole surface, put our rocks in. Uh, then we just have to wait for those rocks from Jasper to show up because we already have our other rocks. Um, but let us know what you guys think of this style. Do you think the rocks are tacky? Do you think it's going to look good? Let us know what you guys think. 
Uh, it would, we would also really appreciate it if you guys could leave a like on this video. It just helps us out in the algorithm, shows this video to more people, and then we can spend more time on these videos for you guys. Uh, but we will see you next week, and thank you for watching.